guys, I got a surprise. Sorry if I'm talking loud, the windows are down. I don't wanna roll them up, it's a nice day. I'm going to buy something. I'm taking the DRZ with me, I'm not trading the DRZ. I'm buying something, going to Kohl's right now. You know we gotta go to Kohl's damn near every video. That's the spot. We're going to Kohl's, when we get there, we're gonna grab this thing and I'll show you guys. I'm so excited. I have not been this excited in a long time. No, it doesn't require any work. Well, maybe a little bit, but it will should be ready to go today. It runs. It's badass. All right. I'll, I'll show you in a second. All right, guys. In Cole's garage, looking at this thing right now. I am hyped. I've never had one of these before, so I can't believe it. But I'm going to show you right now. All right. You ready? You ready? I present to you my 2014 Husqvarna 250 two-stroke. This thing is insane. What we got here? Ow, that pipe is so loose. Okay, I just realized that. He just told me that this was loose. Oh yeah, okay, so there's a bolt missing right here. We'll put that bad boy in. So we got a pro circuit pipe back to pro circuit silencer. Rent out bars, image grips. Uh, Talon hubs, which I don't know what comes stock on these bikes and what doesn't come stock on these bikes But again, I'm hyped. This thing runs Phenomenally and just ripped it down the road Only problem that we actually have right now is the clutch needs blood like it doesn't grab until like right here. So Just gotta bleed the clutch Figure that out and go rip this thing hyped What's going on guys? What's up? Just tell them about the deal you got. You gave me over here. I didn't say how much, so don't tell everybody where the deals are because I might want to come back and buy something else. Oh, I thought it was Oh, I almost did a first kick. But dude, this thing is insane. Literally insane. All right, guys, just got a little road snack, second K. But damn, man, look at this shit. Sheesh. The DRZ. Next to the 252 stroke, bro. Oh my God, look at the DRZ though. Can't, can't neglect this thing, you know. This is where we started from. No, we're not trading the DRZ, you know. We're not getting rid of it. But we do got the 252 stroke for the dirt. So the chances of the DRZ seeing dirt is pretty slim, but you know, whatever. That day may come where we do do it, who knows. All right, guys, just got to the house. Let's get this stuff unloaded. Okay, right on. I didn't really think this through too much. Let me get a stand and get these things set up. All right, guys, I got all my current toys lined up, excluding my wife's four wheeler and the mini bike, because I really don't count those as motos A's, bro. Even though I bought them shits, I bought them things. Excuse the language. I got my stuff lined up and it's kind of surreal man because as a kid i've always dreamed of having a setup similar to this and knowing as an adult that like i go through a bunch of stuff like behind the scenes but 
I just work really hard still and I'm still able to get the things that I want. And I have a really supportive wife who's just like, go buy it. You only live once. Man, it's actually crazy. So for any of you people out there that have like cooler stuff than me, like I'm so happy for you. Keep working hard. And then people that like want some things that I have or similar things, it's not, it's not unobtainable. Like I grew up like single mom home, like food stamps, you know, fixed income and, you know, just barely scraping by to like being able to get these things. And these things obviously are not like things that, you know, normal people can't get. Like I'm not a millionaire by any means. I just work hard. And anyways, let's stop ranting and just show you what I freaking got going on here. guys now obviously the yfz still needs work i know and i'm working on it man so let me tell you what i've done so far all right so first thing i adjusted the valves that didn't do anything i pulled the carb off cleaned it that didn't do anything put a new seat cover that didn't make it start um and anyway so what i figured out was and i still don't know because i haven't tried it but i ordered this ebay kit basically that was like it had like air filter it had oil filter and it had spark plug so i'm like man i don't know what's going on like let me just pull the spark plug out so i pulled the spark plug out and it was a little dirty but it didn't seem like anything that wouldn't work and when i pulled it out touched the frame turned the motor over it had sparks i'm like i don't know man so i'm like let me just pull this other spark plug out and just see let me just pull this other spark plug out and just see what's going on and and maybe throw the new spark plug in and and see what it does all right i cut that clip to go try to find the old spark plug but i couldn't find it so maybe i threw it in the trash but anyways so when i pulled the old spark plug out this is the new one the old spark plug that was in there when i got this thing was only half the length of this so i'm wondering if it was too far up in the cylinder head to where it wasn't making the spark so anyways, I put this on and then I put it in, tried to turn the motor over and it wouldn't turn over. So I think the starter's bad. <laughs> so that's what I'm waiting on right now, ordering a new starter. Um, but anyway, so that's what I think is going on right now. I think after I put this new spark plug in, fingers crossed, it fires up perfectly fine. So in the meantime, I put on um, new, uh, what are these called? What are these called? I'm drawing a brain fart. Oh my goodness. Studs, new studs for the exhaust. Put those in because they didn't have any. I put on a new brake pedal because it didn't have one. Um, obviously you've seen the seat cover. Had to put on a different subframe. Um, I had to weld this right here because that was cracked. Uh, what else have I done so far? So I have a new front bumper, haven't put it on yet. These uh, tie rod ends are shot. This thing, let me see. This whole quad shot, to be honest with you. I mean, tires are trash. I found out, I bought beadlock wheels for this. I'm not sure if I told you guys, but these wheels, these wheels right here, they're eight inches. If anybody knows, YFZs never came stock with eight inch wheels. So when I went to put my beadlocks on that I bought for a YFZ, they didn't fit on these hubs because these hubs are not four by 115, which are stock YFZ size. So I'm thinking those hubs, those wheels, those tires, since they're balloon shaped, I'm assuming they're off of a blaster or maybe a Yamaha Warrior. So there's that. I put on this case saver because not having one is dangerous. Uh, this is leaking. I did not realize this carburetor is leaking. That's no bueno. Let me turn this gas off. So that needs addressed. My carb's leaking. So that's something I just seen right now on the video. 
Um, but outside of that, man, oh, I put a grab bar on. I'm going to be ordering an exhaust, have a plug for a really cheap one. And then this thing will be running. And, uh, yeah, so that's all on the live seat. All right, enough of that. This DRZ, bro, this thing so far, obviously I bought it brand new, has been the most reliable thing I've ever owned. So not messing with this. Um, only thing that I can complain about right now is I have a small exhaust leak right here and I have another exhaust leak up in there. I don't know if you can see the black streaks, but outside of that, love this bike. Now on to the new bike, which we're making this video for. I am slowly finding more and more things wrong with this as time goes, as I got home, which is fine because I got this bike for a steal. Shout out to Cole. It was his bike. He was doing a bunch of trades, ended up getting his dream bike after doing the trades and got this in the process. So he let me get this for a steal. I love that man. So one thing I noticed, front wheel bearing shot. I'm not sure if you can see that, but shot. Okay. Another thing I got going on here, these forks right here. This is supposed to have one of these. Every time I feel or hear the forks go down or the forks do go down, I hear pressure coming out of here. That's not good. So we got to fix that. Rear wheel bearing shot. So we'll figure that out. Chain roller. Somebody broke the freaking bolt off in there. So we got to weld a nut, back that thing out, put a new chain roller on. The clutch. We could not get the clutch to freaking bleed. So I'm thinking maybe this master is bad. Who knows? I'll have somebody mess with it that's better than me. Um, outside of that, man, this thing is badass. So literally what? Wheel bearings. Oh, and I think the fork seals might be leaking. Let me see. The fork seal is definitely leaking. So another what? $40 there. So $40 fork seals, you know, $80 each bearing. Actually, I think I have the rear wheel bearings. Maybe I have the front ones too. They came in the box. So bearings, 80 bucks. Let's just say I don't have them. 80 bucks for both bearings, $40 for the fork seals, if they're even that. And then a clutch rear master is 50 bucks on eBay. I saw, um, what else do we got here? I saw it dripping oil. So I might need to address that if that's not old, if it's old, then whatever. Um, and then this chain roller was like $30 and it looks like somebody spray painted everywhere. So that's great. So, you know, over a season or whatever, we'll take this whole thing down and get it powder coated. But outside of that, man, this thing runs freaking great. I actually need to show you guys. Also, now that I hear it running, there's a freaking bolt missing right here too. God dang it, bro. I hate people so much. We're going to fix it. Don't worry. But anyways, for right now, man, that's it. I can't really do a test ride video right now because there's no clutch. And yet I could run and jump on it and bump start it and cruise around. But who wants to see that without hearing some clutch action in the corner? You know what I'm saying? So we'll save that for another time. But until that time comes, this is Moto Zay. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Peace.